Welcome to my YouTube channel Modi Mechanical Engineering Tutorials. In this video, I would like to differentiate between systematic and random errors. So in my previous video, that will be basically onto the details, onto a different kind of errors into the measurement. But into this video, I would like to only focusing onto the differentiate between systematic and random error. So let us start with the differentiate. So in case of the systematic errors, first one. So these errors are basically repetitive into the nature and it should be constant and similar form. If it will be having a positive, so each and every times it will be repeated time and that will be having a constant value or you can say it will be shown and some characteristics into an error. So you can consider it as a one kind of characteristic type of error but in case of a random error yes you can focusing these error are non consistent and sometimes it will be the into the positive manner sometimes it will be into the negative manner sometimes it will be the zero errors it may be possible so it will be having a non consistency so the source is giving reach to the such an errors that will be known to be a random errors second in case of the systematic errors, these errors result from improper conditions or you can say procedures that are consistent in actions. So environmental conditions or you can say improper methodologies of the measurements that would be the major issues for the measurements for generating the systematic error. But in case of the random error, that will be the inherent into the measuring systems or you can say measuring instruments. Third point in case of the systematic error, except personal errors, all other systematic errors can be controlled into the magnitude as well as the sense. So by the proper methodologies, by the proper alignment, you should control the all the kind of errors into the measurement. So that will be having a proper precautions into the measurements or you can say you should use the standard methods of the measurements during the measurement. But in case of the random errors, specific cues, magnitudes and the sense of these errors cannot be determined or it should be not minimized because that will be randomly generating. So the determine from the knowledge of the measuring systems or you can say conditions if you are properly utilized or can say developing your skills then and then it will be reducible otherwise it will be having the issues but one thing is that if you have the skill for that measurements after this it will be also having a chance to generating the random errors then fourth category of the systematic errors if the properly analyzed this can be determined and reduce or eliminate so you should control it. So in summarized form of the systematic errors up to the fourth point, the systematic errors that should be controllable, but the random errors, it will be not to be a controllable. So the into the fourth differences, just you can see into the random errors, these errors cannot be eliminated. So it may be possible anytime by any person, by any atmospheric conditions. The last point of the systematic error, this includes the calibration errors, variations into the contact pressure. So you should know the particularly pressure error, you can say the loading errors, then variations into the atmospheric conditions. So environmental conditions, parallax errors, like it would be improper methods of the measurements or you can say you should not take the readings at exactly perpendicular that scale misalignment or you can say loading errors so it will be considering into the systematic errors into the random error errors this includes the errors causes due to the variation into the positions of the setting of the standards and the workpiece errors due to the displacement of the lever joints due to the some kind of errors is being generating after utilization of those so many years in case of the micrometers that will be the backlash kind of error is being generating because the micrometer that will be works onto the screw and thread principles. So after loading and unloading of your instrument and your workpiece material for the measurements. So after sometimes it will be 
developing a backless error and due to that it will be generating the errors. So errors resulting from the backless as already discussing friction errors. So basically these five points that will be considering as a basic difference between systematic error and random error. So I hope that will be more help for basic understanding regarding to the errors and most of the times it will be generating during the measurements. So if you like this then subscribe and share Modi Mechanical Engineering Tutorials. Thank you so much and keep watching.